Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. A volcano is a rupture in the crust of a planet through which lava, gases, and volcanic ash escape to the surface from a magma chamber located below. Volcanoes are created by the movements of tectonic plates. When two tectonic plates meet, one of them, usually the oceanic plate, goes under the continental plate, a process known as subduction. It melts afterwards creating magma and generating a pressure buildup. Volcanoes can also be created when two plates move away from one another, usually at the level of the mid-oceanic ridges or when a tectonic plate moves over a hotspot in the Earth's crust. When the pressure inside them builds up, volcanoes erupt through craters located at their top or inside branches. While some eruptions can be tame, quiet releases of lava, others are terrible explosions and a stern reminder of nature's incredible destructive power. Gigantic volcanic eruptions can cause the collapse of land surrounding them to create a basin-like feature called a caldera. Throughout history, massive volcanic eruptions have caused destruction and loss of human life and contributed to reshaping our planet as it is today. Number 6. Krakatoa The 1883 eruption of Krakatoa is among the most destructive volcanic events in recorded history. The massive explosion was heard thousands of miles away and the eruption produced tsunamis with waves almost 140 feet. The explosive power was estimated at 200 megatons, four times more powerful than the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated. At least 36,000 people lost their lives, while around 70% of the island and its surrounding archipelago in present-day Indonesia were destroyed as the land collapsed. The global climate was disrupted for several years after the eruption and sulfur dioxide was injected into the stratosphere, which later came down as acid rain. The ash cloud darkened the sky worldwide, producing such vivid sunsets that it almost looked like the sky was on fire. The sky in the scream Edvard Munch's famous 1893 painting is said to have been inspired by how the sky over Norway actually looked in the wake of Krakatoa's eruption. Volcanoes can be found on land, under the oceans where they are known as seamounts, and even on other planets. Shield volcanoes are formed out of the layers of hardened lava from continuous eruptions. Stratovolcanoes, also known as composite volcanoes, are tall and conical natural structures built on many layers of lava, ejected material volcanic ash and volcanic rocks from periodic eruptions. The three main types of volcanoes in terms of activity are extinct, dormant or active volcanoes. Dormant volcanoes are sleeping but could erupt in the future. Extinct volcanoes haven't erupted for vast periods of time. Active volcanoes are currently erupting or have erupted in the past 10,000 years. Much of Earth's volcanic activity takes place underwater and many of the world's volcanoes are found in the Ring of Fire, a stretch of land and water forming an arc around the Pacific Ocean. The largest volcano in our solar system is called Olympus Mons, located on Mars. This gigantic volcano is around 373 miles wide and roughly 13 miles high. The surface of Io, one of Jupiter's moons, is covered in volcanoes. The massive volcanic activity causes Io's surface to change constantly. Number 5. Mount Pelly Mount Pelly, located at the northern end of Martinique, erupted in 1902. 
Saint-Pierre, the largest city on the island at the time, was completely destroyed within minutes of the eruption. Around 30,000 people lost their lives. Most of the casualties were caused by the pyroclastic flow. The air was contaminated with sulfur, while trees and boulders from the mountain fell upon Saint-Pierre. Only two people survived. The Mount Pele eruption is known as the deadliest event of its kind to take place in the 20th century. Depending on its magnitude, a volcanic eruption can be devastating. The eruptions can be interpreted on a scale known as the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI. A VEI-8 eruption, the highest on the scale, is described as megacolossal. The gas cloud from an eruption can rise tens of thousands of feet into the air, and particles can reach the stratosphere, changing the weather in certain regions by blocking out the sun's radiation. Large volcanic clouds are also dangerous for air traffic. The scalding lava can travel for miles before solidifying, destroying natural or man-made structures in its path. Volcanic eruptions can cause earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, or mudflows. Perhaps the scariest, deadliest, and most dangerous aspect, though, is the pyroclastic flow, a mixture of hot gases, rock fragments, and entrapped air moving at high speeds in thick gray to black clouds that hug the ground. The velocity can reach 100 miles per hour and temperatures approaching 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 4. Mount Tambora This is the largest and deadliest eruption ever recorded, measuring 7 on the VEI and being described as super colossal. Mount Tambora, located on Sumbawa Island, Indonesia, reached the peak of its eruption in April 1815. With an explosion so loud that it was heard 1,200 miles away, the volcano almost literally blew its top off. The eruption reduced its height from 13,000 to 9,000 feet. The destruction was devastating, with an approximate death toll of at least 70,000 people. It caused the year without summer, as ash in the atmosphere reduced the temperature, a phenomenon felt worldwide. Crop failures as far as Europe and America were affected, and claiming the lives of many more people. Number 3. Siberian Traps the Permian-Triassic extinction event, also known as the Great Dying, took place around 250 million years ago, causing the greatest loss of life in Earth's history. 95% of all species living at the time were completely wiped out. It would take another 30 million years for life on Earth to recover. No one knows for sure the combination of factors that led to what's been described as the mother of all extinction events. The evidence and timeline suggest increased volcanic activity and gigantic volcanic eruptions that led to the formation of the Siberian Traps, a huge volcanic province in Siberia. The eruptions covered almost 2,770,000 square miles with lava, while enormous quantities of ash and other debris were launched high into the atmosphere. An estimated 3 trillion tons of carbon was released through the ignition of massive coal beds, which was highly toxic, contaminating the land and water. From global warming, increased levels of toxicity or dust clouds and acid aerosols that blocked out the sun, there's many ways in which such a tremendous volcanic event could have virtually ended life on Earth. If you live in or travel to areas known for volcanic activity, a first step towards surviving a potential eruption is respecting the safety measures, emergency instructions, and evacuation procedures in that particular region. 
in case an eruption finds you in a solid structure, it's better to stay inside. The gases released in the atmosphere along with the lava and pyroclastic flow can be deadly, so going outside is not a good idea. You should close doors, windows, and block chimneys or other vents. It's good to have an emergency bag that's equipped with at least three days' worth of food and drinking water. The bag should contain goggles, a mask, a flashlight, and a battery-powered radio. If you're in a car, follow the evacuation routes and avoid driving fast, as ash can damage the engine and metal parts. If you can't find shelter, stay alert and move quickly to higher ground. Don't cross geothermal areas, protect yourself from falling debris, and use a damp cloth to breathe through. Number 2. Yellowstone Many who visit the Yellowstone National Park might not know that an active volcano is actually rumbling beneath their feet that's exhibited incredible power in the past. Three VEI-8 eruptions rocked the area in the past, the most recent one having taken place around 640,000 years ago. The park's huge crater, which measures 30 by 45 miles across, was created by this last eruption. The US Geological Survey theorized that these eruptions released enough ash and lava to fill the Grand Canyon. As frightening as that might sound, it's not the end of the story. Scientists have discovered a gigantic blob of magma beneath Yellowstone, which if released, could fill the Grand Canyon 11 times over. Fortunately, the chance of such a tremendous eruption happening nowadays is reportedly about 1 in 700,000. Number 1. Mount Sinanbung in February 2015, villagers from the region surrounding Indonesia's Mount Sinanbang were forced to run for their lives following a volcanic eruption. The volcano had been increasingly active in the months prior to the eruption, spewing ash columns into the air that were several miles high. At least 11 people on the western island of Sumatra lost their lives and the government evacuated tens of thousands of people from the region. Indonesia stands on the Ring of Fire belt and is the country most at risk from volcanic eruptions, with nearly 130 active volcanoes. This was the first time that Sinanbang claimed any lives and served as a reminder of how dangerous volcanic eruptions can be. The most famous of these was the story about a giant human skeleton uncovered in the desert during gas exploration in Saudi Arabia. Pictures were included, linked with the Islamic story of the Prophet Hud and the powerful giant tribe of Ad. 